Jamaica's gold rush from California to Spain. History to potential future. A reality check. Did you know that Jamaica experienced a gold rush in 1849? As per the University of Pittsburgh website, the gold rush of 1849 encircled that of the California gold rush of the same year, as well as the construction of the Panama Canal. In essence, Jamaicans, ex-slave workers that is, migrated to Central America for improved economic opportunities. The successful prospecting and mining of gold in California was an influencer of gold exploration and mining, not just in North America, Central America, and South America, but also in the Caribbean, such as Jamaica. I should mention, however, that prospecting of gold in Jamaica happened even before 1849. Here enters the article presented by Dr. Suresh Balai from the Mines and Geology Division of Jamaica. As per this article, gold prospecting in Jamaica began during the years of Spanish colonization. So this brings us to a time period as far back as the 1400s, early 1500s. Now in continuing in this article, it is highlighted that the Spaniards were unsuccessful in their gold prospecting endeavors. This is where they handed over Jamaica to the British. The Brits too continued this quest and several mining ventures were started, mainly for gold and copper. However, they too were unsuccessful. In continuing, gold exploration boom in countries such as the US and Australia fueled the same in countries such as Jamaica. However, the inexperience in Jamaica's geology plus the pressure from investors led to unsuccessful gold mining during the period for Jamaica. It was not until the 1980s that Jamaica found an anomalous zone of gold and silver. And this era happened to be in Penance, Clarendon. The lease for gold mining in Jamaica was granted by Jamaica to an Australian company back in 1997. Actual mining within this region took place initially in the year of 2001 to 2004. It is said that 16,000 ounces of gold was mined during this period and approximately 9,000 ounces of silver was also mined during this period as per Mines and Geology Division of Jamaica. Doing some math, the value of gold today, December 15, 2024, for one ounce amounts to approximately $2,662.74. Multiplying this figure by 16,000 ounces, and we get in the region of over 43 million US dollars. So throughout the three year mining period, that would have been the total value of the gold extracted. With Jamaica receiving a 5% royalty on the gold mined, this amounts to approximately 218,000 US dollars. Since the peak of the gold mining operation in Penance, Clarendon, there has been a closure and there also is a renewed vigor in gold prospecting. In Jamaica. This renewed vigor is led by the company Geophysics. This company has now partnered with a gold mining company of C3 Metals. Together what they have released to the public 
is three potential areas on mainland Jamaica for gold mining. These areas are Penance, Clarendon, Bellas Gate, St. Catherine, and Ungry Gully in Portland slash St. Thomas. At this point now, we can see that the potential revenue for gold mining in Jamaica has at least tripled. So using the gold mining specifics of that of Penance for the period of 2001 to 2004, if we're going to multiply the 16,000 ounces of gold mined by three, what we then get is an approximate value of US $130,811,520. Jamaica's royalty has also ballooned to the region of over 650,000 US dollars. Now to keep it real, listening to these numbers sound really big. But when we're going to reference it to what other gold producing countries or rather the biggest gold producing regions of the world can put out, we're talking about hundreds of thousands to over a million ounces of gold. So Jamaica's 16,000 compared to an 800,000 plus of Pueblo Viejo is really like a little speck. At this point, I want to brief you on common gold depositional forms. And these are epithermal, such as the Penance Mining Zone in Jamaica. Placer, such as deposits in regions of stream beds, river beds. Carlin type, such as gold deposits in pyrite as examples. Igneous intrusion and metamorphic contact type where you have the gold infused in the igneous rock and or in contact metamorphic zones. Now, considering that the Penance and Bellas Gate mining zones are located near or are rather somewhat drained by a nearby river, such as the Rio Minho in Clarendon, I anticipate that there can be placer deposits within the riverbed of the Rio Minho. When you also consider the find of pool's gold within the community of Hanover in Jamaica back in 2003, I consider that Jamaica can have carling type gold deposits. But the biggest area of gold potential in Jamaica's context may not even be on the mainland. It potentially is on the seafloor. Jamaica's offshore area is approximately 22,240 square kilometers. This is more than twice the size or area of the mainland itself. When you consider the area itself, plus the igneous basement rock of Jamaica's seafloor, plus Jamaica's uplift of its mainland, plus landslides that have occurred across Jamaica, mainland that is, throughout geologic time, and the drainage of sediment thanks to rivers back into the sea, plus submarine landslides or seafloor landslides in Jamaica's waters over geologic time. Combined, this presents support slash justification 
for my stated hypothesis. The pro-gold mining interests, this expression of mine, may whet their financial appetite. However, there are elements or there is a flip side that also must be considered. The sea itself is home to marine life. Life that has its codependence, such as us humans or community residents themselves, who depend on the marine life for food as well as for the sustenance of their livelihoods. We also have to consider that the seafloor itself, based on its makeup, its shape, has some form of protective benefit in the context of storm surge disaster mitigation. By altering the seafloor for mining operations, to say the least, storm surges we are disturbing the, communities in the, the eastern and western current ecosystem. Cars. We potentially place some of the marine life at risk for species extinction. We potentially can negatively affect the livelihoods, the food provision and sustenance of communities, of regions within a country, of countries themselves, such as small island developing states of Jamaica as a whole we potentially increase our risk for coastal flooding and other related disasters of our coastlines or near to our coastlines. This environmental impact has to also be considered or weighed relative to the financial gain of offshore mining, such as that of gold mining potentially in Jamaica's waters. Is it worth it to undergo this venture? This is where you decide.